Hello, today I am not checking references in a Drag Race episode. Instead, I'm going to check the drag queens' names. As you know, a lot of them have puns, have a bit of wordplay, or just have an interesting reference or story behind them. Equally, an awful lot of them don't, and are just kind of names people picked. So those ones, I've politely ignored for now. I've picked out names from series one of Drag Race all the way through to series 13 and Drag Race UK series one and two. And I couldn't have done any of this without RuPaul's Drag Race .com, which is a brilliant resource. It's like the Wikipedia of Drag Race. Now there is a few queens who actually don't really have a drag name. They're just using their real name. Alexis Mateo. I assumed Alexis was after Alexis Carrington, but no, Alexis Mateo was christened Alexis Mateo. Equally, Chad Michaels, Willem, Charlie Hydes, Derek Barry and Max. Ivy Winters. Real surname is Winters. Dax exclamation points. First name is Dax. That said, let's crack on with season one. Chanel. Now, obviously, that sounds like the brand Chanel, though she says it was named after her first cat who possibly was named after the brand Chanel too. Akasha was named after the character played by Aaliyah in Queen of the Damned, though spelled differently. Angina took their mum's maiden name of On and combined it with a part of the female anatomy. Victoria Porkchop Parker got the nickname because she liked pork chops. Season two, B was named after the fruit Jujube. Didn't like the name, but they kept it anyway, as it was given by her drag mother. Morgan McMichaels, after Morgan Le Fay from the King Arthur Legends, the kind of spooky queen of the fairies. The Mac is a nod to her Scottish roots, and Michaels from her drag mother, Chad Michaels. Mystique Summers, Mystique from the X-Men crossed with Buffy Summers. Pandora Box, from the Greek legend about Pandora, who opened a box and let all the evil into the world. The late Sahara Davenport from the drag family Davenport, who in turn got the name from Don Davenport, Divine's character in Female Trouble. Shangela. Now her telemarketer friend had a memorable customer who was called Shangela Laquifa Wadley. So Shangela took the name. Tatiana, after Fresh Prince star turned singer Tatiana Ali. Tyra Sanchez, not actually after Tyra Banks, but after their niece Tyra and the House of Sanchez. Season 3, Raja, which is a title for Indian nobility. Manila, Luzon. Now, Manila is the capital of the Philippines, where Manila's mum was born. Luzon is the name of the island that city is built on. Delta Work is a play on Delta Burke, who played Suzanne Sugarbaker in Designing Women. Me, me, I'm first is a play on me, me, I'm first. Season 4, Sharon Needles is a pun on sharing needles. Dita Ritz from Dita Von Tees and the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Jiggly Caliente from the Pokemon Jigglypuff and Caliente, which is Spanish for hot. Season 5. Alaska's full name is Alaska Thunderfuck, which comes from the Alaskan Thunderfuck, a strain of cannabis. Alyssa Edwards. The first name came from Alyssa Milano, the Who's the Boss star who later appeared in Charmed, and the surname came from her drag mother. Jinx Monsoon, Jinx meaning bad luck, and from Edina Monsoon in Absolutely Fabulous. Penetration, which is a not too subtle pun on penetration. Detox. Now Detox does have a surname that was too rude to appear on Drag Race. And to be honest, I was raised an Irish Catholic, so I can't say it either, but it's very, it's very rude. Season 6, Adore Delano. This is from an old French surname meaning from the swamp. Or alternatively, in Italian, it means of the anus. So you've got options. Courtney Act is caught in the act. If you say it in an Australian accent, caught in the act. Darien Lake, after the hairspray star Ricky Lake and the amusement park called Darien Lake, but spelt differently. Ben de la Creme, well, their first name is Ben, and I'm guessing this is a pun on creme de la creme, i.e. the best of the best. La ganja estranja. La ganja is a word for weed or cannabis, and estranja is similar to the Spanish and Portuguese words for strange. Gia Gunn comes from Gia Carangi, a model who was played by Angelina Jolie in a biopic, and Tim Gunn from Project Runway. Season 7, Ginger Minge. Now, this one's very obvious to us over here. In the UK, minge is slang for vagina. Ginger got the cheeky name as an in-joke while working at a mystery dinner night. 
Katia. Now, this is slightly tricky for me to say, but Katia's full name is Yekaterina Petrovna Zamolodchikova. My name is Yekaterina Petrovna Zamolodchikova. It comes from the gymnast Yekaterina Lobadznyuk, Eugenia Petrovna Kuznetsova, and the surname comes from Elena Zamolodchikova. Anyway, it's Katya for short. But you can call me Katya. Hoi. Kennedy Davenport from the Davenport family. Rue often introduced Kennedy as Newark LaGuardia Kennedy Davenport. LaGuardia Newark Kennedy. Ooh, yeah. This is because Newark LaGuardia and Kennedy are all airports in the New York and New Jersey area. Tempest du jour. Tempest is a storm. Du jour means of the day. So it literally translates as storm of the day. Trixie Mattel. And Trixie came from a slur that her stepfather used against her as a child. Mattel because Mattel make Barbie dolls. Violet Chachki. This comes from Jennifer Tilly's character Violet in Bound and a tchotchke, which is a Yiddish word for a decorative small item, like a nice pretty trinket. In part two, I look at season eight through season 13 and Drag Race UK. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. Thank you.